50 years of cooperation ties between Cameroon and the international labor organization, the ILO, were marked by the first ever visit to the country by the director general of the organization, Guy Ryder. On the invitation of the president of the Republic of Cameroon, Paul Beer, the maiden visit is a forerunner to celebrations of the 100 years of existence of the international labor organization due in 2019. Cameroon's Minister of Labor and Social Security, Grigora Owona, and the Director of the International Labor Organization's Office for Central Africa, Mrs. Vera Paquet Bredigao, led the delegation to welcome Guy Ryder at the Yaoundé Simalen International Airport. Employees of the International Labor Organization's local office were delighted to join the welcome committee in receiving their boss for the first time on Cameroonian soil. Mr. Guy Ryder's working schedule includes a number of high-level meetings with officials in areas where cooperation with this organization is most important. The first in the series of these meetings took the Director General to the Prime Minister's office, where the head of government, Philemon Yang, discussed relations with the International Labour Organization. To come to the country to talk uh, to the authorities, but also to the employers and the workers' organizations of the country, uh, to see how our organization can contribute within its sphere of responsibility, which is labor and social affairs matters, to the development of your country. Your country has, quite rightly, uh, very high ambitions in its development agenda. We consider, and the Prime Minister has confirmed that this is his opinion as well, that the development of decent work, of employment opportunities for your people, is an essential precondition of successful development. So. Uh, with the Prime Minister, I have this morning discussed the challenges of your country uh, in the widest possible sense and discussed too how our organisation can contribute uh, to the efforts of the country uh, to move forward. The International Labour Organization's mission of promoting decent work across the world came under focus in an enlarged meeting co-chaired by Cameroon's Minister of Labour, Grigua Owona, and the Director General of the organisation. Attendance at the meeting included staff from local office as well as stakeholders in the labor and social security sectors. The country's achievements and strides in promoting decent work came under scrutiny with reference to a memorandum of understanding signed by both parties in 2014. The 2017-2019 World Report on Social Protection was also launched in the wake of that meeting, an event the Director General appreciates as timely. The solemn launch of the report was witnessed by several government ministers, heads of the United Nations social partners and business leaders. The ceremony was marked by a summary presentation of the report, a statement by the Minister of Labor and Social Security, and an inaugural speech delivered by the Director General. One of the experts attending the meeting has this summary of the 2017-2019 World Report. In order to present a global overview of social protection in the world, including trends in coverage and expenditures, as well as major experiences and challenges, the ILO periodically produces a World Social Protection Report, and it is the most comprehensive source of data to monitor progress based largely on the ILO Social Security Inquiry. That's an administrative survey that we have sent to governments since 1949. And the 2017 edition of this report, which is being presented to you today, shows that significant progress has indeed been made in some parts of the world, including the Central African sub-region, to extend social protection to an ever larger number of people. Indeed, and this is what we have heard this morning, most Central African countries have developed a national social protection policy, and some have implemented important mechanisms to extend coverage to informal economy workers and to vulnerable groups. And in this regard, I want to welcome the progress made by Cameroon in child benefits and in especially its commitment to build a universal health coverage system. More than half of the world's population, 55%, that means as many as 
1.4 billion people are still excluded from social protection systems entirely. That means that they do not receive any child benefit, any maternity benefit, any unemployment protection, any disability benefit, or any old age pension. And in Africa, that coverage deficit is particularly high. Only 18, 1.8% of the African population are covered in at least one of these areas of social protection. The Director General of the International Labour Organization took time off to consult with social partners, trade union leaders and employers' groups behind closed doors. These consultations were followed by a meeting with all heads of agencies of the United Nations system in Cameroon. Next in line for the high-level discussions was Cameroon's Minister Delegate in the Ministry of External Relations in charge of the Commonwealth, Joseph John Nguti. Um, I've been received here at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to talk about the international, the global aspects of our cooperation. Um, Cameroon, as I've said previously, is an important player on the international scene, most particularly in the International Labour Organization. And so we have discussed the significance not only of our cooperation with Cameroon at the national level, all of the things that we're trying to do to assist Cameroon uh, in its own development um, uh, plans, but also in the region uh, in respect of the Central African situation where um, Cameroon remains an absolute beacon of stability uh, and of um, progress. Uh, and also in respect of my own organization, the International Labour Organization, the oldest organization in the international system, two years away from our 100 year birthday. Uh, we want to involve Cameroon, a member of our governing body, very centrally uh, in the celebration of our centenary where the future of work is the watchword. And so we've discussed these very wide range of issues. Uh, we have committed, I have committed the ILO who have been in Cameroon for 50 years uh, this year with our office in Yaoundé to continue our cooperation. It's active, it's positive, uh, it's fruitful. We want to continue that into the future and I think that we have a very strong meeting of minds uh, with the government in all of these areas. Youth employment in Cameroon was the subject of yet another important audience granted the Director General this time by the Minister of Employment and Vocational Training, Zachary Perevet. The Minister and I have talked about all aspects of employment policy, recognizing, I think, that for Cameroon, as for many other countries, uh, employment and access to decent work is a national priority. And when we say this, we think primarily and in the first instance of young people, uh, young people who suffer more than other parts of the population uh, from unemployment or underemployment and who certainly need our assistance. And uh, when it comes to young people, we know that um, vocational training, professional training is extremely important. Uh, the minister has expressed to me his particular interest in what we call dual training systems, where we combine classroom learning with professional experience. Around the world this has proved to be a very effective way of getting young people into employment. We have talked as well of the need for green jobs, green employment policies, that is to say jobs which respect the natural environment and aid in the fight against climate change and we're all feeling the effects of climate change more and more around uh, the world. And to resume all of this I think uh, we have to think of the implementation of the national employment policy which I think has to be a central part um, of our work together and I have reassured my friend the Minister uh, of the ILO's uh, availability to support the implementation of such a policy as we move forward together. The first day of Mr Ryder's visit to Cameroon ended with an official dinner offered by government. A major attraction at the dinner besides the exchange of toast by both sides was the performance put up by the National Ballet. Also partaking at the dinner were members of the diplomatic corps and some government ministers. Day two of the visit took the Director General to the African Regional Center for Labor Administration abbreviated CRADAT. The center with support from the ILO trains labor administrators and public service managers in French-speaking Africa. 
Gi Ryder gave a lecture here on the many employment opportunities the future holds before taking questions from the audience. A memorable moment at the center captured by the words the Director General leaves for the record. My view is that the future is not already written. We have to learn to use technology for social purposes to social benefits and we have to use technologies to create good quality jobs, to facilitate development and to spread the benefits of the world of work more broadly. That might sound somewhat abstract but it is a fairly concrete definition of the challenges that face us in the future. Another exciting moment of the day was a stopover at the ILO's head office in Yaoundé. Where Mr. Ryder had frank discussions with his local bureau staff. It will be recalled that the head office is located on land freely offered by the government. The stopover at the head office was followed by a snap ceremony to unveil the 50-year commemorative plaque of the ILO's presence in Cameroon. <laughs> Mr. Guy Ryder later summarized the contents of his audiences and discussions with local authorities as a press conference expressing gratitude to the government and people of Cameroon for the warm reception. A new press time came up again at the Yaoundé Simalin International Airport as the Director General ended the maiden visit to Cameroon. This is the, the end of my official visit to Cameroon. It is indeed the first visit of an ILO Director General to your country. Um, I've been able to meet not only with the authorities, uh, with several ministers, of course, uh, including our partner and friend, the Minister of Labour and Social Security, but also with the organizations of, of workers and of employers, very important for our organization. Um, and I was, had the honor of being received by, by the head of the government. Um, I should also uh, add that our office here in Yaoundé uh, is celebrating this year its 50th anniversary. And so our relationship, which is very strong, is not a new one. But I want to believe, and I do believe, uh, that with my, uh, with my visit uh, this week, uh, this relationship can be reinforced, can be strengthened further. I think there are many things that the ILO and Cameroon can do together. There is, um, I think, many challenges in the field of labor. Much has been achieved, but much remains to be done. And I take it as a responsibility uh, of my organization to accompany uh, the government and the workers employers of Cameroon in the realization of their development ambitions, understanding that offering decent work to all of the people of Cameroon is fundamental to the stability and the progress of your country as indeed of any other. And finally I would like to say, and it's not the least important thing, uh, to, that I have been received with great generosity, great warmth by the authorities and also the people of Cameroon and I will leave with very warm memories of an extremely productive visit. A new boost had been given to cooperation between Cameroon and the organization.